Hello everyone, welcome to MS Opti Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure stub zone in Windows Server 2019. So the question is, what is a stub zone? Stub zone is one of the way to forward DNS query for specific zone to authoritative DNS servers. Stub zone is very similar to secondary DNS zone, but instead of creating duplicates of all records, it keeps only the information of startup authority and name server record from the master server. The biggest difference between stub zone and secondary zone is that to set up stub zone, we don't need to enable zone transfer on authoritative DNS server. Now for this demonstration, we have two active directory forests named malv.local and msubtivwebcast.com. This is our domain controller for malv.local domain with the name ws2k19-01 and the IP address is there 172.18.72.5. This is the our second active directory forest name msuptwebcast.com and this is the root domain controller srt-01 with the IP address 172.18.72.200. On this server, we have a configured DNS server as well. So DNS server is there as you can see. Fine. Now we want to create stub zone on a mylab.local DNS server for msuptwebcast.com active directory forest. So the client computers in our domain can resolve the FQDNs related to msuptwebcast.com active directory forest. So first of all, let's open DNS management console on mylab.local domain. Let's click on tools and select DNS. Let's expand forward lookup zones. Right click here and select new zone. Let's click on next. And here this time we are going for a stub zone. So we need to select stub zone. One more thing that I want to mention here is as you can see, if we create secondary zone, that time this option will be not available to us. But if we create stub zone, that time this option will be available to us. That means we can store this stub zone in Active Directory database. Fine. Let's click on next. And here we are going to select the replication scope to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in this domain malab.local. So if you have a multiple domain controllers with DNS service, this stub zone is going to create on other domain controllers as well due to Active Directory integrated DNS zone. Let's click on next. Now here we need to specify the zone name. In our case, it will be a definitely msuptwebcast.com. Then let's click on next. Now here we need to specify the master DNS server or you can see we have to specify the address of authoritative DNS server for msuptwebcast.com domain and in our case it will be a 172.18.72.200. Let's add the IP address. Fine. Let's click on next and click on finish. Now here we have a stub zone for msoptwebcast.com. Now here we are seeing that zone not loaded by DNS server. Let's click on refresh. Right click and select transfer new copy of zone from master. As you can see zone is loaded successfully from master DNS server. And now we have a copy of msoptwebcast.com in a stub zone. But the thing which we need to note is here you can see we have only three records. Startup authority, name server record, and the associated host record of that name server. Only three records are there. But if we check on our DNS server on msuptwebcast.com DNS zone, you can see we have a plenty of information under msuptwebcast.com. But we are only able to get three records due to the stub zone. And these are the, uh, sorry, host record. NS record and the start of authority record will be there. One more thing which I want to show if we see the property of msuptwebcast.com DNS zone here I didn't enable zone transfer on the zone. So to create a stub zone we don't need to allow zone transfer. If you want you can create a stub zone for google.com domain name as well. Let's do it. Stub zone. Fine, let's click on next. Uh, here I'm going to add FQDN of Google's authoritative DNS server and which is ns1.google.com. Fine, 
fine. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Let's click on next and finish. Let's click on google.com, right click and select transfer a new copy of zone from master. Let's click on refresh and here we go. Now we have a sub zone for google.com DNS zone as well. Fine, so this is the way how you can create stub zone in a Windows Server 2019 DNS server. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.